Today, we are going to install a tool called Shell GPT on our Kali machine. So we head over to GitHub and according to the brief description of what Shell GPT is, it's basically a command line utility or a command line tool which is powered by large language model. It can be used for shell commands, code snippets, and documentation and other stuff. Even though it looks like it's just used for usual stuff, in the future, we'll take a look at how we can take advantage of shell GPT when it comes to offensive security operations or when it comes to penetration tests or any other security activities. So if we go down here to the installation, it is very easy to install Shell GPT. Even though it says PIP, PIP is really not used anymore, but PIPX can be used for the installation. But let's take a look at how Shell GPT is used by large language model. So by default, Shell GPT uses OpenAI's API and then also the GPT-4 model. But we can also use our own local version of large language model. You can see they actually have a warning here, which I think I've said several times in my previous video. One of the downsides of having your own or having your offline local model is it sometimes may not be optimized, right? So for performance. So just be aware of that. And it also has good amount of usages, use scenarios, which is beyond the scope of this video today. So we'll skip over this one right here and then let's go all the way down, assuming that we are going to use a combination of both OpenAI and then also our own local Ulama. Let's head over to the additional documentation. This is where we can look at the integration with Ulama and even Azure. So let's click on Ulama integration. The Ulama integration will bring us down here. All right. So this is what we're going to actually do. If you follow my videos in the past, we have already done this part. We have already installed Ulama on our box. We actually have Mistral as a large language model on our box already. We can pull several if you want. If you want, if you have enough space and you want to pull in additional models, this will be an example model that you can, you can pull. The Shell GPT option for using local model uses the Light LLM utility. So to have that integrated, this is going to be the command we are going to run. And this is going to install the Shell GPT version with integration with Light LLM. So we click on copy. And if you were to type this command right here, let me show you this. This is what we're going to have. And this is what I said about the PIP. So instead of using PIP, we will just use PIPX for the installation. So once the installation is completed, we can proceed to just type SGPT just like this. The moment we hit enter, it is going to ask us for our OpenAI API key. Here, if you have OpenAI API key, you can just put it in this command line. For us, let's just type in any random characters and then I'll show you how we can configure this in the future. So let's type in one, two, three, four, five, and then hit enter. And this is going to give us an error message. This is fine. So the shell GPT's configuration file can be located at this location. So within the configuration file, we have all these options. The ones that we are much more interested in is going to be the default model and then also the OpenAI API key. So this is where you can add in your OpenAI API key if you had made a mistake in the initial configuration setup. So I'm going to put my OpenAI key here, which you can do the same. So with my OpenAI key within the configuration file, let's now try to run shell GPT command. So with this command, we can actually confirm that Shell GPT is working with our OpenAI API key integration. Now let's take a look at how we can configure this with our local LLM. 
So back in our shell GPT config file, we are going to make some modifications. The first is going to be the default model. So here we are going to specify the name of our local model that we want to integrate with shell GPT. So let's delete the GPT 4.0 and we are going to use Olama. And in our case, we had Mistral as the model from our previous deployment. If you have something different, by all means, you can use it. For instance, if you have, let's say, Llama 3, this will be where you put it. So this will be our first change. The second change is going to be the use underscore light LLM. So that is set to false for now. We are going to set that to true. The last is going to be the open AI key. We can put in any random numbers in this for now because we're not going to use it. We can save this. And this time we are going to use shell GPT's shell option or capability and then say update my system and see if this works. And as always, because we're using our local large language model, it will take some time. However, with patient, it will still work. So once we run this shell command, it is going to ask us, it first of all gives us a command line, which is convenient. And we have an option to type in E to execute, D to describe, and then A to abort. So in our case, let's say we type in E. So this is going to proceed to actually update our system so this is also a confirmation that our local version of large language model integration with the shell gpt is actually working so we have successfully installed shell gpt on our kali machine with ai integration both remote model and then also our own local model so this is just for the installation in our subsequent videos we would actually dive deeper into how we can leverage the power of Shell GPT when it comes to offensive security operations. Thank you.